Top 25 Aircraft Maintenance Interview Questions and Answers In the aviation industry, aircraft maintenance is crucial for safety and efficiency. This video will guide you through the top 25 interview questions that candidates commonly face, along with insightful answers to help you prepare effectively. Understanding these questions will not only boost your confidence but also enhance your technical knowledge. Whether you are a seasoned professional or a newcomer, this video aims to equip you with the tools needed for success in your interview. 1. What are your technical qualifications in aircraft maintenance? I hold an airframe and power plant a &P, certification from the Federal Aviation Administration FAA, which demonstrates my technical qualifications in aircraft maintenance. I have completed extensive training in both theoretical and practical aspects of aircraft systems, including structures, engines, and avionics. Additionally, I have accumulated several years of hands-on experience in various maintenance environments, where I worked on a wide range of aircraft types. My training also includes specialized courses in areas such as electrical systems and troubleshooting techniques, ensuring I am well equipped to handle diverse maintenance challenges. 2. Can you provide an overview of your experience as an aircraft mechanic, including the types of aircraft and systems you have worked on? I have extensive experience working as an aircraft mechanic, primarily focusing on commercial airliners and general aviation aircraft. My expertise includes maintenance and repairs on a variety of aircraft systems such as propulsion, electrical, hydraulic, and avionics. I have worked on Boeing 737s and 747s, as well as smaller Cessna and Piper models. My role has involved conducting routine inspections, troubleshooting mechanical issues, and performing modifications in compliance with FAA regulations. This hands-on experience has honed my problem-solving skills and attention to detail in a fast-paced environment. 3. What experience do you have with composite materials? In my previous roles, I have worked extensively with composite materials, particularly in aircraft structures and components. I have experience in inspection, repair, and maintenance of composite elements, including carbon fiber and fiberglass systems. I am familiar with various techniques, such as vacuum bagging and resin infusion, which are crucial for effective repairs. My training involved understanding the properties of composites, ensuring proper bonding techniques, and adhering to manufacturer specifications. I have successfully completed repairs on composite wings and fuselage sections, ensuring structural integrity and safety compliance. 4. Describe the steps involved in troubleshooting an aircraft engine experiencing a loss of power. When troubleshooting an aircraft engine experiencing a loss of power, first, gather information through interviews with the flight crew to understand the symptoms and circumstances leading to the issue. Conduct a visual inspection of the engine for any obvious signs of damage or leaks. Next, check engine parameters such as fuel flow, oil pressure, and temperature readings. Utilize diagnostic tools to run system tests, focusing on fuel, ignition, and air intake systems. Review maintenance records for any recent repairs or changes made. Finally, conduct ground tests and, if safe, perform a test flight to assess engine performance under controlled conditions. 5. Can you walk us through how to conduct a system operational test on a 747 aircraft? To conduct a system operational test on a 747 aircraft, start by reviewing the maintenance manual and ensuring all safety protocols are followed. Begin with a pre-test inspection, checking fluid levels and system integrity. Power up the aircraft systems and monitor for any faults. Execute specific test procedures for components like hydraulic, electrical, and avionic systems, ensuring they operate within specified parameters. Document all findings, noting any discrepancies. After testing, perform a final inspection and verify that all systems are functioning correctly before concluding the test. 6. What are the different types of aircraft maintenance checks and when are they performed? Aircraft maintenance checks are categorized into several types. 1. A checks. These are routine inspections performed every 400 to 600 flight hours or every 2 to 3 months. They focus on visual inspections and minor repairs. 2. B checks. Conducted approximately every 6 to 8 months. B checks involve more detailed inspections compared to a checks and require additional system checks. 3. C checks. These comprehensive inspections occur every 18 to 24 months. They include extensive disassembly to inspect critical components and systems. 4. D checks. The most thorough checks, performed every 6 to 10 years, involve a complete overhaul of the aircraft. This check ensures long term airworthiness and compliance with regulations. 7. What test equipment would you use to test the operation of hydraulic units? To test the operation of hydraulic units, I would use a hydraulic pressure gauge, flow meter, and a test stand specifically designed for hydraulic systems. A pressure gauge allows me to monitor the output pressure and determine if it meets specifications. The flow meter helps assess the flow rate, ensuring the system operates efficiently. Additionally, I would utilize a multimeter for electrical components associated with the hydraulic system. If necessary, I would employ specialized diagnostic tools that can interface with the aircraft's onboard systems to retrieve fault codes or operational data. This comprehensive approach ensures reliability and proper functioning of hydraulic units.
8. How do you ensure compliance with safety regulations and maintenance procedures during inspections and repairs? Ensuring compliance with safety regulations and maintenance procedures requires a systematic approach. First, I thoroughly review the relevant regulations and maintenance manuals before any inspection or repair. I maintain checklists tailored to specific aircraft and tasks, ensuring every step is followed meticulously. Regular training sessions are essential to stay updated on any regulatory changes. Additionally, I conduct peer reviews of my work and encourage open communication within the team, fostering a culture where safety is prioritized. Finally, documentation of all processes is crucial for accountability and future reference. 9. What is your process for completing the required documentation for aircraft repairs? My process for completing the required documentation for aircraft repairs involves several key steps. First, I ensure that all work performed is meticulously recorded, including the type of repair, parts used, and any pertinent observations made during the process. I reference the aircraft's maintenance manual to confirm compliance with specified procedures. After completing the repair, I cross-check the documentation against regulatory requirements to ensure accuracy. Finally, I submit the completed documents for review by a supervisor to confirm that all necessary information is included and that it meets industry standards. 10. How do you assess the condition of used parts? Assessing the condition of used parts involves several critical steps. First, a thorough visual inspection is conducted to check for any signs of wear, corrosion, or damage. Next, I utilize appropriate measuring tools to gauge tolerances and dimensions, ensuring they meet specifications. Non-destructive testing methods, such as ultrasonic or magnetic particle inspections, may be employed to identify internal defects. I also review maintenance history and any previous repairs to understand the part's life cycle. Finally, I consult manufacturer guidelines and standards to determine whether the part can be safely reused or needs replacement. 11. Once you have completed maintenance, what methods are used to inspect the work, certify it meets FAA standards, and verify the aircraft is ready for operation? After completing maintenance, I conduct a thorough visual inspection of the work performed, ensuring all components are correctly installed and secured. I cross-reference the maintenance records with FAA guidelines to certify compliance. An independent quality assurance inspector may also review the work as part of our standard procedure. Finally, I perform functional tests to verify systems are operational and meet performance specifications, ensuring the aircraft is safe and ready for operation. This process is crucial for maintaining high safety standards in aviation. 12. Can you discuss your familiarity with an adherence to Federal Aviation Administration, FAA, regulations and guidelines? I have extensive knowledge of FAA regulations, including Part 43 and Part 145, which govern maintenance and repair procedures for aircraft. My experience includes ensuring that all maintenance work complies with these regulations, conducting thorough inspections, and maintaining accurate records as required by the FAA. I stay updated on changes in regulations through continuous education and professional development. Adhering to these guidelines is crucial in maintaining safety and operational integrity, which I prioritize in every aspect of my work as an aircraft maintenance technician. 13. Can you describe a time when you identified a mechanical or safety issue during an aircraft inspection? What steps did you take to resolve it? During a routine inspection on a regional jet, I noticed unusual wear on the main landing gear's hydraulic lines. Recognizing the potential risk, I immediately grounded the aircraft and reported the issue to my supervisor. We conducted a thorough investigation, which revealed a manufacturing defect in the hydraulic line material. I collaborated with the engineering team to develop a replacement plan, ensuring compliance with safety regulations. After replacing the faulty components, I performed extensive testing to ensure proper function before returning the aircraft to service, prioritizing safety and reliability. 14. Describe a challenging maintenance issue you've encountered. How did you diagnose and resolve it? In one instance, I encountered a persistent electrical issue in an aircraft that caused intermittent system failures. To diagnose the problem, I began by reviewing the aircraft's technical manuals and schematics, which helped me identify potential fault areas. I performed a thorough inspection of the wiring harness and connectors, looking for signs of corrosion or damage. After isolating the issue to a faulty circuit breaker, I replaced it and conducted multiple system tests to confirm functionality. The aircraft was ultimately restored to operational status, ensuring safety and reliability for future flights. 15. What procedures do you follow when you encounter an unfamiliar aircraft system during maintenance? When I encounter an unfamiliar aircraft system during maintenance, I begin by referencing the aircraft's maintenance manuals and technical publications to understand the system's design and function. I consult with colleagues who may have experience with the system for insights and guidance. If possible, I utilize diagnostic tools and software to assess the system's performance. I document all findings meticulously and communicate any issues or uncertainties to my supervisor. Ensuring safety is paramount, so I follow all established protocols and guidelines before proceeding with any maintenance actions. 16. How do you approach troubleshooting and problem-solving with complex technical issues in aircraft systems? 
When faced with complex technical issues in aircraft systems, I follow a systematic approach. First, I gather detailed information about the problem by reviewing maintenance logs and talking with crew members. Next, I analyze the symptoms and check for any obvious faults. I utilize schematic diagrams and troubleshooting guides to narrow down potential causes. I then test individual components methodically, ensuring that I document each step. Collaboration with colleagues can provide additional insights, and I always remain open to alternative solutions, ensuring that the aircraft is restored to full operational capability safely and efficiently. 17. How important is safety to an aircraft maintenance technician? Safety is of utmost importance for an aircraft maintenance technician. Every task performed affects the safety of the aircraft and its passengers. Adhering to safety protocols reduces the risk of accidents and ensures compliance with regulatory standards. A technician must maintain a safety-first mindset, conduct thorough inspections, and use proper tools and equipment. Continuous training and awareness of new safety procedures are essential. By prioritizing safety, technicians protect lives while upholding the integrity of the aviation industry. 18. What preventive maintenance measures do you consider essential for ensuring long-term reliability and safety of aircraft? Preventive maintenance measures that are essential for ensuring long-term reliability and safety of aircraft include regular inspections, adherence to maintenance schedules, and thorough documentation of all maintenance activities. Implementing a robust lubrication program for moving parts reduces wear and tear. Additionally, proactive checks on critical systems such as hydraulics, avionics, and engines can detect issues before they become significant problems. Training staff on the latest maintenance technologies and best practices, along with fostering a safety-first culture, is also crucial in maintaining aircraft integrity and operational safety. 19. Can you share an experience where your attention to detail and precision were crucial in preventing a potential safety issue or malfunction? During a routine inspection of a regional aircraft, I discovered a misaligned fuel line that could have led to a fuel leak. The alignment was slightly off, but it was enough to compromise the system's integrity. I double-checked all relevant documentation and conducted additional tests to confirm my findings. After discussing the issue with my supervisor, we replaced the faulty line and ensured all systems were thoroughly inspected. This experience emphasized the importance of meticulous attention to detail, as overlooking such a small issue could have resulted in a significant safety hazard. 20. How would you handle a disagreement or conflict with a team member? Addressing a disagreement with a team member requires a calm and open-minded approach. First, I would listen actively to their perspective without interrupting, ensuring they feel heard. Then, I would express my viewpoint clearly and respectfully, using facts to support my stance. It's important to focus on the issue at hand rather than personal feelings. If necessary, I would propose a compromise or seek input from a supervisor to mediate the discussion. The goal is to maintain a positive working relationship while resolving the issue constructively. Effective communication is key to fostering teamwork. 21. Describe your experience collaborating with other members of an aircraft maintenance team. How do you ensure effective communication and teamwork? In my experience working as part of an aircraft maintenance team, I prioritize clear communication and mutual respect. Regular briefings before and after shifts help align our goals and address any concerns. I make it a point to listen actively to my colleagues, valuing their insights and expertise. Utilizing shared digital platforms for documentation and updates ensures everyone stays informed about ongoing tasks and progress. Additionally, I believe in fostering a supportive environment where team members feel comfortable sharing challenges, which ultimately enhances our collaborative efforts in maintaining aircraft safety and performance. 22. Mention a project that required you to demonstrate effective teamwork. During a major aircraft refurbishment project, my team was tasked with completing a comprehensive maintenance check on a fleet of regional jets. Each member had specific roles, and I collaborated closely with avionics technicians and structural engineers. We held daily briefings to ensure everyone was aligned and addressed any emerging issues. My responsibility was to oversee the integration of electrical systems, which required close coordination with others to ensure compatibility with mechanical components. By sharing insights and supporting one another, we completed the project ahead of schedule, enhancing both safety and performance. 23. How do you maintain your attention to detail in high-pressure situations? In high-pressure situations, I prioritize by breaking tasks into manageable steps. I focus on one task at a time, ensuring thoroughness before moving on. Utilizing checklists helps me track essential details and confirm each step is completed correctly. I also minimize distractions and maintain a clear workspace, which allows me to concentrate better. Regularly taking short breaks aids in keeping my mind fresh and focused. Additionally, I remind myself of the critical impact that attention to detail has on safety and performance, reinforcing my commitment to quality work. 24. How do you handle stress and pressure in a fast-paced aviation maintenance environment? In a fast-paced aviation maintenance environment, managing stress and pressure is essential for safety and efficiency. I prioritize tasks by assessing urgency and impact, ensuring critical tasks are addressed first. 
Effective communication with team members helps in delegating responsibilities and sharing workload. I also take short breaks when needed to maintain focus and clarity. Staying organized with checklists and documentation reduces uncertainty, allowing me to work methodically. Emphasizing teamwork fosters a supportive atmosphere, where we collectively tackle challenges, ultimately enhancing performance and reducing stress levels. 25. Describe a time when you had to adapt to an increasing workload. What did you do? In a previous role, I experienced a significant increase in workload during a peak maintenance period. To manage this effectively, I prioritized tasks based on urgency and impact on aircraft safety. I communicated with my team to delegate responsibilities, ensuring everyone was clear on their roles. I also implemented a more streamlined approach to documentation, which reduced time spent on paperwork. By maintaining open lines of communication and focusing on teamwork, we successfully completed all necessary maintenance within deadlines, while upholding quality standards. In this video, we've covered the top 25 aircraft maintenance interview questions and their answers to help you prepare for your next interview. Understanding these key topics can greatly enhance your confidence and performance when facing potential employers in the aviation industry. Whether you're a seasoned professional or just starting out, being well prepared can make all the difference. If you found this content helpful, please give us a like and consider subscribing for more informative videos on aircraft maintenance and other related topics. Your support helps us create more valuable content for you. Thank you for watching.